What is Copperhead Strike? Copperhead Strike is a steel launch coaster located at Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina, USA. The ride became North America's first roller coaster to feature an LSM launch on an airtime hill. During this, magnets are used to accelerate the trains over a hill, propelling them through the remainder of the course. But Copperhead Strike doesn't feature only a single launch. During the experience, guests are accelerated twice, making this Carowind's first multi-launch coaster. Copperhead Strike opened to the public on the 23rd of March 2019 alongside the debut of an entirely new area of the park, Blue Ridge Junction. This 7-acre area is set in the Blue Ridge Mountain region of the Carolinas and features the Blue Ridge Country Kitchen and mountain gliders, an attraction relocated from another section of the park. However, Copperhead Strike wasn't the first launch coaster to be built at Carowinds. Decades earlier, in 1977, the park debuted White Lightning, a Schwarzkopf shuttle loop. Using a weight drop system, riders were accelerated from 0 to 92 km per hour before navigating through a vertical loop and ascending a tall spike. At this point, the trains would complete the layout backwards before coming to a sudden stop. This short but sweet ride operated for just over 10 years before closing to the public in 1988. In the same year, the area now home to Blue Ridge Junction saw its debut attraction. Whitewater Falls, a Hopkins Rides shoot the shoot, open to guests featuring a 14 meter drop. Fast forward to 2016 and Carowinds saw this area as an opportunity for investment. Whitewater Falls closed at the end of the 2016 season before being removed the following year. And in 2018, the park began teasing an all new attraction. Initially, these suggested an expansion to the Bird Farm operated by Granny Bird. The posters featured a company called Big Mox Demolition and Building, the first of many references to the manufacturer of Copperhead Strike, Muck Rides. The German amusement company has produced many launched roller coasters around the world, including Helix at Leesburg and Manta at SeaWorld San Diego. But the teasers referenced much more than just Muck Rides. The posters began to feature fictional companies at other parks owned by the same company as Carowinds, Seed Affair. Chamberlain Brothers Excavation Co. and Miami River Lumber Co. were both seen on the posters, references to Cedar Point's Steel Vengeance and Kings Island's Mystic Timbers. Further posters even stated the latter company was out of Southern Yellow Pine Wood, the wood used by Great Coasters International to construct their wooden coasters. The teasers continued to flow in, as some placed emphasis on the number 137, the height in feet of White Lightning, the park's former launch coaster. In early July, White Lightning was referenced further, being used as the name of a company that produces spark plugs. The poster also mentioned Ron Waldrich, which was most likely a play on the word Weidkirch, the location of the Muckrides headquarters, and Roland, the director of the same company. In the summer of 2018, new signs began to appear around the park, focusing on Granny Bird's award-winning jam. Others seek scrap metal, copper tubing and car parts, all hinting further towards the ride's theme. On the same day, Carowinds began a Twitter campaign where Granny's secret recipe was revealed to the public. Each ingredient referred to a specific statistic of the new roller coaster. Through this, the underlying theme of moonshine was made even more clear. The final teaser provided an announcement date for the attraction, the 30th of August 2018. And, on that very day, Copperhead Strike was revealed to the public alongside the new Blue Ridge Junction area. During this event, we learnt more about the ride, including its theme. Granny's Jam has been award-winning for more than 40 years, but you've had enough, you want to steal the recipe. You've travelled to the edge of the Blue Ridge Mountains to do just that. Beware of the Copperhead Snakes though, they've been known to terrorise the region. You enter the huge barn on the farm, ready to get your hands on the delicious jam. But inside, you discover that snakes aren't the thing you should be worrying about. Granny's been making something else in those large copper vats of hers, moonshine. Before you have time to think, you hear a voice. A gun cocks and it's time to flee the scene. Your getaway vehicle? Copperhead Strike. But how does all this transform into the ride experience? Well, at first, guests come face to face with the attraction's large barn structure. Here, they also see the stylized entrance sign. As they progress closer to the start of the ride's queue line, guests encounter a huge range of signs and other writings telling them to turn back. 
no trespassing, snakes beware, and nothing to see here are among the deterrents to stop you from getting your hands on Granny's Jam. From here, visitors join the queue line and see a whole host of rustic items, including beat-up signs, a small shed, tractors, and even a cottage. Riders climb up to the station platform adjacent to the large barn. At this point, guests board one of the ride's three trains. Each one has been themed to a 1930s coupe with working headlights, chrome grills, and even a windshield. The vehicles themselves are made up of four cars, seating visitors in two rows of two. This leads to a total of 16 riders per train. Once boarded and ready, riders leave the station building and immediately enter their first inversion, a Jojo Roll. After this, guests complete a 180 degree right hand turn and enter the large barn before coming to a stop. Visitors see the moonshine being created in the large copper vats and then witness a cinematic scene to their left. Granny's voice can be heard, causing the teenagers seen through the window to flee from the scene. Seconds later, the trains are launched. Guests accelerate from 0 to 68 km per hour in 2.5 seconds directly out of the barn structure. To achieve this, the ride uses Linear Synchronous Motors LSMs. Once up to speed, the trains immediately enter a circular vertical loop which provides riders with fantastic hang time. Guests then climb over an airtime hill, complete a corkscrew, and traverse through a set of twists and turns. The trains then ascend another hill and drop down into the attraction's second launch. Riders accelerate to 80 km per hour over an airtime hill before completing a step up through the center of a vertical loop straight into an inverted top hat. The trains dive back towards the ground, twist to the left, and plow into a second circular vertical loop. Guests ascend through the center of the first vertical loop and back right towards the ground. The remainder of the layout consists of many twists, turns, and snappy transitions. Towards the end of the ride, guests traverse over a small bunny hill before climbing up into the attraction's final brake run. During the entire 85 second ride experience, measured from the moment the trains leave the station to when they hit the final brake run, guests traverse a total of 992 meters of track. As a roller coaster, Copperhead Strike contrasts the rest of Carowind's attractions and even its previous large edition perfectly. While Fury 325 opened to guests as the world's tallest giga coaster, measuring an unsurprising 325 feet 99 meters high, Copperhead Strike, at its tallest point, stands only 82 feet 25 meters above the ground. Fury features drawn-out elements taken at extremely high speeds, while Copperhead provides a more compact experience, allowing guests to navigate through fast transitions and tight inversions. The attraction never aimed to be the most intense or thrilling the world has to offer, it was built to provide visitors of different ages with an extremely fun roller coaster ride, one that is enjoyable from start to finish. And, from the reactions of guests, it does exactly that. Muck rides have almost perfected their design of a fun launch coaster for all the family, with enough thrill to keep even the most hardcore thrill seekers interested. On top of this, the theme, design, and aesthetic of the ride further enhances the experience. Carowinds have created a storyline that complements their new attraction perfectly and helps to make the ride that little bit more unique. But what do you think? Was Copperhead Strike a good addition for the park? And would you like to see more roller coasters like this one around the world? Let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all next time. Why not subscribe and press the bell icon right next to it so you'll be notified when we upload new videos.